I stop it. Bitches gonna be ready, we gon' lock it. All the time looking for the option. Posing at the fountain. Come on, me. We gon' let it be, yeah. You can stop it, Gucci, stop it, Louis V, yeah. Come on, me. Now you have to be. Full speed, so pull it belly. Come on, me. We gon' let it be, yeah. You can stop it, Gucci, stop it, Louis V, yeah. Come on, me. Good morning B squad and welcome to another vlog. I'm starting off today's video in London. Yeah, it was meant to be a 30 hour, 30 hour layover in London and now it's like a 26, 25 ish hour layover. It's currently 1.38. I had some plans to explore outside of the, outside of the city but since it became so short, I might as well just stay here. I've never been to Harrods um the actual store the actual department store in london i went to the duty-free section in um heathrow but i never got to go to the actual store so i'm gonna do a 27 minute walk to harrods and then i can't remember i'm gonna get some some um nando's i was told to try the peri peri sauce which I didn't try the last time. I think I tried a peri peri chicken, but I didn't try it with the sauce. So this time I'm gonna try with the sauce. I keep repeating myself, sorry, I'm kinda tired. I'm actually really tired, but I have that rush of adrenaline right now to get up and go do something. So I'm just gonna use it while I can. And plus it's almost morning in, well, it's almost 9 a.m. in New York. So I might as well just stay up just to get my body back on that regular clock that i'm used to and then i can go to sleep late in the afternoon and it will kind of like fall into place i'll just wake up a little bit early early tomorrow so it still falls into place if you get what i'm saying then you get what i'm saying um it's a 27 minute walk i'm gonna leave out now when i get there i'll show you this is my outfit just a nice um white cami the silk black skirt that i wore in barcelona i think it's perfect for the summer i may stop into zara and get some more i have my coach purse again and i have my tote bag um, with a scarf tied around it because I want to bring my water. I want to bring my tripod I also brought a towel so if I stop by a park or something I can sit on and you know not worry about the last time when I was sitting in the grass and all this extra stuff But yeah, I even have I don't think I'm gonna walk with my jacket. I think I'm gonna just be cold I think I may regret this moment but yeah I also have my Ray-Bans that I bought in Italy, so I'll be wearing that with me. In fact, you know, I think I will bring the jacket because it's looking real overcast and it doesn't look like it's going to clear up and when the sun starts to set, I know it's going to get colder. Anyways, this intro has become way too long. Oh, I just wanted to show y'all, I left my hair out. I'm trying to nurse my hair back to a good state i'm a very lazy natural so i don't really do much with my hair but um yeah let's go let's go all right guys i'm currently in harrods i'm gonna go up to the sixth floor and make my way down to the ground floor so i believe the sixth floor starts um with perfumes and then the fifth i believe would be like I'll show you the sign. There's a bunch of stuff on each floor, but I know that the first floor is women's wear and the sixth floor is perfumes and then the ground floor has the food hall. And I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys have recommended that I try the food on the gr ground floor. So the best way to start and end the day is with a little workout, retail, window shopping. Cause I don't, this place is really expensive. I'm just here to see what they got going on and then buy some food and then simmer by some for her and then go about my day Zara is across the street and this silk skirt is from Zara I think I'm going to try to get one more um, and yeah that's just the plan I don't really have anything that I want to do today and like I said earlier our time got cut by almost 3-4 hours so I can't really go out and explore like I wanted to there's another place in London that I really really want to go um, where Julia Roberts filmed a movie I'm gonna pop the name up because it's not coming to me right now but that area was really really pretty really colorful buildings and like you know it just gave London so 
I'm gonna try to check that out today. But if not, there'll be more days. In the technology section, they even have Apple and a bunch of stuff. And I'm wondering, should I get an iPad? But I don't think I need, I don't need an iPad. It's not a thing. I don't need an iPad. But it's just so tempting. Um, I'm just going to keep walking around. I'm not spending any money. Maybe. But yeah. Kai's here. Kai's my um, accountability partner. <laughs> But it's nice up here. I like it. I'm still on the sixth floor. Barely. I haven't even looked at the other half of the the um, this floor yet. <gasps> Look! Camera stuff. Alright, I'll be right back. For you guys that don't know, I have a Sony ZV-E10. Um, my lens is an E-mount lens. I Look at these prices. These are like $6,000. $3,000, $4,000. That's crazy. One day. What do you think about this heel? It's Alexander Wayne. This is what she looks like. I don't know, I love black shoes, as you can tell. But these look really, really good. Someone said it's gorgeous. Should I get it? Should I get it? Let's see. Hey guys, I took your recommendation and I was not expecting Howard's Fool Hall to be this massive and diverse there's so many different types of food different stations like even a fish market it's so cool so i'm going to show you some of the food and i'm going to get something to eat and then i'll catch you in a minute chocolate from the chocolate hall and it, it it's massive it's so crazy I didn't know if I had known the last like 10 times I came here I would have gotten something really nice but the first time for everything and I probably will be back I was planning to go to Nando's but with all this option I don't think I'm gonna head over to Nando's um, so let's see I have to pay at the till and then uh, go back to the server. She's gonna warm it up. So I got stir fried vegetables, salmon teriyaki, and I tried. I'm trying. I'm gonna try a black truffle prawn dumpling, and that all came to nine pounds thirty six pence. I hope that's right. And this is what the line area looks like. There's also self checkout, but that's pretty busy. The line with cashiers is moving a lot faster. I'm gonna end off my Harrods journey at the chocolate bar. Let's go in and see what they have to offer. The way it smells so amazing in here. I'm a chocoholic. I'm in heaven right now. Jackson uh, it's a bit dark on this side so I may switch the camera around a little bit but I want to show y'all what I got dun, dun, dun. 
I got me some outs and wing. It's so dark. I'll show you guys this later. I'm going to show Kai. Girl moment. Hey. I took a nice little nap. And so now I'm going to head down to the gym. This is my little workout outfit. And I'm not going to... I don't think I'm gonna go on the treadmill every time I tell myself I'm gonna give myself a cardio break cuz I mean I did walk about 11,000 steps already just in London um, but my 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 foot I feel like when I wear that slippers for a long period of time it really messes with the top of my um, feet Cause it's so I can barely bend my foot so I know there's one workout my calf raises which I don't think I'll be able to do because it's I'm in so much pain when I try to do it right now but yeah when I tell myself that I still end up on the treadmill anyways but I'm definitely gonna go to the gym it's Monday I already missed Friday because I was in Rome and then I was gonna do Saturday and Sunday but then time time just went so i really want to stick to my routine with that being said i'm gonna make sure i get a video up this week either saturday or sunday anywhere from friday saturday or sunday those are my new posting days just look out for videos on those days because I, I feel more comfortable especially on a saturday i feel like my videos do really well on saturdays now um but yeah i need to get back into that routine because if not mega just fall off the wayside and i, I don't want to I don't want to be that person again. I love uploading on YouTube. I love being consistent. I love going to the gym consistently. Even my pure bar classes. I'm just probably going to take another nap. Let my phone get to about 50%. Uh, right now it's at 21. I'm just moving a little bit slow. But even my pure bar classes. Or bar class. Or yoga class. Pilates class. like I'm paying for it. So I'm going to make sure I go to every single class um, per month. And it's really been helping like I'm looking at myself and I'm just like wow and then eating healthy I'm trying not to like overdo it with the sugar and like all the unhealthy food and buying a bunch of food which I have these past two trips because I'm like when am I gonna be in Rome again like when is the next time I'm gonna be in London I'm gonna treat myself <laughs> Um, that word treat I need to start using it very lightly but it's the truth so me eat my pasta, me eat my gelato, me buy my little Harrods chocolate, my little Harrods food. But I know when I get back to New York, it's back on track. When I go to the supermarket, is you know, the healthy stuff and things like that. But healthy and delicious. Healthy don't have to be taste bad, you know? Anyways, I'm starting to ramble off now. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm going to iron my uniform before I go to sleep tonight. But I do plan to wake up around 5 a.m. And I hope to God I can actually wake up around 5 a.m. Because our pickup, I think, is like 12.15. And I would love to go and walk or, you know, just do something in the morning before we leave. Today was a very relaxed day and I think I really needed that. I only went to Harrods and walked there, walked back. Got like over 10,000 steps and really enjoyed myself and I think it was very relaxing so let me see how far Notting Hill is from the hotel that I'm staying at if I can walk there tomorrow then that would be oh my god it's an hour 25 minute walk <laughs> I think not I'll have to see. If I can wake up early, 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 early and do it, then I will. And then take the train back. Um, but dang. And that's only, that's only like, that's only 4.1 miles. Dang. I didn't know that was such a long walk. Anyways. The sun is still out and it's literally 7.36. I'm going to head down to the gym and I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll go out tonight. Who knows? I may find a cute little restaurant and go have dinner. Or I may go over to Nando's after all. Who knows?
Good morning. It is currently 8 a.m. It is a little, let me see. I don't wanna tell a lie. <laughs> it is 3.01 a.m. in New York. The hotel for us crew members has complimentary breakfast. That started an hour ago. So I've had a little taste of the breakfast. Um, I never had the chance to sit down and eat like everything. But now I'm gonna go test it out because it was good and it smelled good. It's just when we were getting picked up the last time I was here, we got picked up right as breakfast was starting. So I never got to taste it. Never got to really experience it. I only got to preview it. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. And then I may go to Marks and Spencer's and Sainsbury's and then get ready for pickup. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so tired. I'm gonna know how I'm gonna do it when I reach home because I have to work tomorrow. Oh boy. We'll see how it goes. What I have picked up for now. I didn't see any granola or anything. I'm gonna go get some fruits. But I have potatoes, sausage, I think this is either ham or bacon, so it's turkey. And I have some scrambled eggs. I didn't want to overdo it because I'll be overdoing it. Uh, but some side of fruits. I'm gonna really top this off for me. Here's my bowl of fruits. Uh oh. Well, there goes a grape. I got some orange juice and I got a cup of lemon ginger tea. There's a lot of crew members here. I can feel jet, the jet lag kicking in. I'm so tired. Oh my god. But I feel like when I go to the gym, I'm gonna wake up. This is the time that we were supposed to arrive yesterday. And we ended up arriving at after 11. I'm very unfortunate. It is time for me to leave London. It is nine minutes after 12. Pickup is in six minutes. I'm about to zip up my suitcase. The one thing that makes it really hard for me when visiting London is the liquid restriction. So I'm just trying to make sure that the bag I'm checking has all my liquids and the bag I'm not checking doesn't have any liquids because then that would just be very frustrating because we get penalized for the smallest thing. Literally, we get penalized for lip balm. So I'm really trying to make sure that everything that needs to go where it needs to go is where it is. So I'm going to say bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey B Squad, we are in Greece. Welcome to the Athens Greece vlog, as you can tell by the title. So I'm going to get ready. It's currently 11:41 a.m. I'm gonna get ready and walk to the Acropolis. It's going to be a 42 minute walk and along the walk, I have it here on my Google Maps. Along the walk, I'm going to pass, it's called, I don't want to mispronounce it, but Kalimar, Kalimarmoro. Well, this location, um, the Panathinaku. Okay, I'm not going to mess up these names, I'll just pop it up on the screen. But this is the original modern day location of the Olympics. 
I think it's pretty cool. If I can get inside, I'll get inside. If I can't, it will just be cool to be there. Then I'm also going to walk by some more ruins. This one is the Temple of Apollo. That would be really, really cool, really fun. And then I'll pass the Theater of Dionysus. And then, and then I will get to the Acropolis of Athens. Ooh, I'm so excited. 42 minute walk, maybe I'll find some food along the way and then, you know, just some other cool stuff. So yeah, I'll go get ready. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it and I'm grateful, I'm blessed and yeah, I wanna cry. So let me just go get ready and cry in peace, okay? Not to mention, I really like my view. It's literally people's apartments and a street, but I feel like it just looks authentic. I don't know, something about it is just nice. Hey guys, I have a mini update. So, <laughs> I'm so, you know, excited and getting ready and about to shower and I'm just like, oh my God, I don't feel good. I feel very lightheaded, I feel very tired. So, wrapped up in my towel, I laid in the bed. And I was like, I cannot get up. I literally could not get up. It is now 3.49. Mind you, from the time that I just spoke to you, I literally did not feel good. So I ate some yogurt, I ate some fruits, and I laid down and I went to sleep. I think maybe it's the time difference and the fact that I've literally been doing back to 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 back chips for the past 14 days. So I was just really tired and it's better safe than sorry and we can't go up on the road. It's hot outside for one. I believe it is 90 degrees outside. We can't go outside and drop down because I'm lightheaded. Like you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to be very careful. It's um hold on. I don't know. It's 32 degrees. Uh so yeah, it's 90 degrees outside. So I'm ready. This is my outfit. I got my skirt from mommy. I'll show you like a full body video. This bag from Longchamp. I tied a headband around my hair. I wanted to get braids, but I refuse to pay America prices for braids. So until I can go to Jamaica to get my braids, I'm not doing it. So I gave myself some flat twists and then just six twists in the back and it's up in a bun. And yeah, we're all ready to go. So come on. Let's go explore Greece. Again, this is my outfit. I like the skirt because it has these slits at the side. Um, yeah, it's really, really cute. This top. Here is the bag. I have a scarf in the bag and my stuff in the scarf because we're not losing nothing today. And here is the, my hair. All right, guys, I'm walking and it's so windy and my skirt is a flowy skirt. I have shorts on to put underneath the skirt. It's like, you know, like if you're a girl, you know. When you walk and you've been walking for a long time and your inner thighs start to like rub, either it hurts or it's getting sweaty. Either way, it's uncomfortable. So I brought tights. Um, but I like the way I like the way my skirt looks without the tights. So I'm just waiting for it to start hurting to put it on. But the wind, it's getting really windy. But we're going, we're walking, we're enjoying ourselves. It's giving local. I don't know. Athens, the, the structure, the architecture is definitely very different than anything I've seen. Um for example, Rome and Barcelona looked my GPS. Rome and Barcelona looked very similar. But Athens just has its own look. Just like how I've never been to Brazil, I've never been to Rio. Just like how Rio has its own look. This has its own look. Because even Jamaica, you can see different parts of the world. Um and sometimes wonder if I Jamaica. You can see different parts of the Caribbean and if you don't know, like if you don't look on the license plate and say, oh yeah, that's not a 
Jamaican license plate. That's that license plate is different, but the area looks like it could be Jamaica. Like there's a video Kai sent me with a car accident, and it literally looks like it could be like Mandela or something. Um, there was literally a fit there, the, the Honda fit. So we know it's another Caribbean island, but the license plate wasn't Jamaica. So that was just really interesting. But this definitely just has its own look. I like it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. where they had the modern day the original modern day Olympics this is where it all went down so I'm gonna see if I can get inside walk around the tracks I think that'll be really really you know historic let me not say cool it would be iconic um, but yeah this is on my way to the Acropolis, oh my god, which I can see right there. Let me flip this camera around so you can see it. The fact that I was just looking to my left and I'm like, wait a minute, that's it. That's where I'm walking. It's a 26 minute walk from this location. And then this location is about a 26 minute walk from my hotel. So all in all, it's about a 40 to 50 minute walk with all the stops that I've been making. But yeah, there's a lot of tourists here. You know, they're taking their pictures, taking in the sites. So let's go. This site is the Panathinaik Stadium. The total capacity is 60,000 people. The length of the track is 191 meters. There are 24 rows in the lower tier. In the upper tier, there's 23 rows and it's made of marble. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I'm walking up to the Acropolis right now and it has the most beautiful street to go up. There's a lot of restaurants and boutiques, also a lot of little souvenir shops. It reminds me of Las Ramblas, uh, the road in Barcelona. It's just covered with trees and filled with people and food. <laughs> vendors of this different sort so it really takes the sun off you gives you a nice little breeze somewhere to sit and eat somewhere to shop guys I just had the worst experience coming in here first of all the ticket lady amazing she was so nice I'm going through I have my vlog camera this lady's like is this for professional use I'm like no it's personal <sighs> She is going off, going off, saying I can't come in here with it, um, like it's not allowed. So I go back to the ticket lady, I'm like, hey, you saw my camera, you didn't tell me it wasn't allowed, I bought this ticket, like, what's going on? So she's like, you could just take the microphone off and leave the microphone, um, and we'll, you know, just come back, don't forget. So I'm like, okay, so I'm here waiting now for the line to clear up a bit, um, and I'm watching these people come in with their big ass i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it they're big ass professional cameras like those aren't personal family pictures those are very expensive like two thousand three thousand dollar cameras and there's no way you're taking just family pictures with those cameras and that lady the same lady did not ask the people like what is the use of your camera she did not ask them so i took a picture of i didn't take a picture of the man's face i just took a picture of the camera and i went up to her i'm like hey like 
this man has this camera you did not i watched you you did not ask him if it's for professional or personal use she's like oh he da, da, da. i'm like but i watched you like i watched the entire interaction in english you did not ask him and i was just so shocked and then she starts flipping off so the ticket lady came to my defense and she's like scan the thing like let her in i'm just like wow i was gonna call my bank and tell my bank to give me back my bank money um i did ask her for a refund you could tell like they do give refunds because she was like oh, are you sure da, da, da. she's trying to make me not get a refund um so the ticket lady you really are the nice lady because the other lady she was very mean and i'm like you know what i see what's going on here it's okay i'm not gonna argue with you i didn't even go back to her i went to another person to scan my ticket so if you are coming in with a camera and i'm not insinuating anything just put the camera in your bag because they made it seem like she made it seem like i was a whole criminal but meanwhile that other man and if you want to guess you can guess what the man looked like she did not ask him anything but you know what i'm not gonna let this take away from my day i'm sorry to even share this little terrible part but i'm here i'm gonna keep walking up to the temple and i'm gonna keep vlogging and you know what i'm gonna put my camera out and i'm gonna vlog <laughs> um it's just really annoying it's really annoying I finished with the Acropolis and the slopes. It was a once in a lifetime experience. It was absolutely amazing. 100% recommend. I was gonna go to the museum, but I think I'm gonna save that for another trip to Athens if I do get um, the chance to pick up any more or get assigned any next month, then definitely I'll go to the museum. But for right now, I'm so tired. I got a tan. Look at this. Um, I'm just upset that it's this shirt that I got the tan for. But yeah, it's also inspired me. I saw some cute dresses to get like some nice spaghetti strap long dresses for the summer. So I'll be doing that. And for now, I'm going to head back to the hotel. I'm gonna head back to the hotel, maybe find a cute little restaurant. Um, I don't know if they have a rooftop pool, but I would love to go lay out on the pool. But for now, I'm really tired. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in literally a second. I'm gonna get something to eat at this restaurant. I'm gonna get a girl and I'm gonna get chicken. I'm not quite sure what comes on it, but they had the most delicious looking picture and I'm really hungry. So I know I keep saying so I'll stop. But I'm just, I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say. Thankfully they have some hand sanitizer because I left mine. And this is what the gyro is looking like. It looks like it's gonna be nice. I think that's 
tzatziki sauce on it with some tomatoes, cabbage, um, red onions, the chicken, and some other seasoning that I have no idea what it is. But it looks super duper delicious. Let's see. I want to get a nice picture. I don't know how to eat this, to be honest. I mean, with my mouth, but... I want it to look nice. Alright, I'm starving. Let's go. I see a lot of black people and I love that. I swear to you, everyone except for that um, ticket scanning lady, I'm sorry, it's so loud. Everyone except for that ticket scanning lady has been so nice to me. I just met this random old man. He told me half his life story. Um, he even pulled up a chair and was like, sit down. And I sat down with him and I listened to him talk and he asked me questions. He was just so kind. He's, he was born in Sudan, but his mom is Italian. Five of his siblings were born in Italy. And I can't remember where the other rest were born. But he was born in Sudan and he was like, he was the last one. His mom was done with kids and he has all sisters and he's the only boy. And she was like, you know what? The, the kitchen's closed. <laughs> um, he was just so nice. And he said, he was asking me where I was from. And I told him Jamaica. He said he's been to Jamaica before and he just lives his life. He's like, I'm a masseuse, an international masseuse. So I travel all over the world. I go where the wind takes me. In a brief summary, that's just what he said. So I was like, live your life, sir. His name was Antonio. It was very funny, very kind. He was telling me some jokes and about some girlfriend them and he, he was so funny. He has a picture of his girlfriend from seven years ago in his wallet. And he has a current girlfriend now, but he's like, they just go with the flow. So I was like, you are hilarious. You're very funny. So that was really, really nice. And then when I got my microphone back, that lady was like, I was waiting for you, I was looking for you. And I'm like, I came, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> so she was, she was also really nice. I'm telling you, everybody was just so nice. And then Wooly Papi met up by the Acropolis, so nice. Like the locals, I'm telling you, everybody but that one lady. But that's how it go. That is life. May I walk up a hill and I'm so tired. Give me a second. Walking to Zara and you see an archaeological site right in the middle of the walkway. <laughs> downtown part of Athens I'm gonna pull it up on my phone and show you yeah for the most part I'm like right in the downtown area so I'm right in front of Zara they close at 8 o'clock and it's now 750 a lot of places close either at 8 or 9 so I'm gonna see I didn't see anything in there but We'll see, we'll see. H&M is right across the way. And there's a lot of stores that I don't know. So I'm gonna check them out. Mango is down the way as well. Maybe I'll go check out Mango. But it's a cute little street. Like, there's no cars, everybody's walking. It's a nice little area for shopping. Kinda wish I 
came shopping a bit earlier because H&M has some really really cute pieces but they also close at 8 so there's only like 6 minutes until they close but they H&M International got some really nice stuff wow let me show you this dress is what caught my attention isn't it cute wow okay Maybe I need to find out what time they open on Monday and see if I can try and come before it's time to go. of chocolate sweets and other pastries and when I tell you it smells so good I have to try it I think I can smell like some type of hazelnut caramel something it just it's doing it for me and I need it right now I'm also on my way home back to the hotel I have my power bank and yeah definitely have a This is what I got. I got the milk chocolate hazelnut um, cream hazelnut uh, on top and strawberries. And it just looks so delicious. I'm wondering if I should save it till I get to the hotel or should I take a bite now and then save the rest? I really like this area of Athens compared to where we're staying, which isn't far, it's in walking distance. But down in this area seems just a lot more lively. I really hope we can get a hotel down here. Maybe in the next couple years that I'm still here. But this, or maybe the Chicago, well no, Chicago doesn't fly here. Maybe the Philly crew or the Dallas crew has a hotel here, but the New York crew sure don't. But it is a, um, regardless, it's not bad. Like, I can walk to my hotel in 30 minutes. I can walk here in 30 minutes. That's really not bad. I'm in love. I really like this area. Now, this area is reminding me of Barcelona. And I think that the area I was previously in was reminding me of, like, Eastern Europe. That's what it was giving. I really like your outfits. You guys look really pretty. <laughs> I love when people dress really pretty. I complimented this one girl in London, and I don't know, maybe she was deaf. I tried to give people the benefit of the doubt, but she just kept walking like no manners. Not even a smile, not even an acknowledgement, which I'm not complimenting people so they can acknowledge me. But, like, you're not a girl's girl? Just say that. Well, she did by not saying anything. Um, but yeah, we're heading back to the hotel now. I have about 20 something minutes, and I feel like I'm in the the city center part. Oh, this building's pretty. Look. Also, wanted to note that there is a lot of black people here like people that just look like them live here and people like tourists and i feel like because of the cruise i definitely saw a group of african-americans i'm pretty sure they're african-americans just by how they were going on um and i'm pretty sure they were coming from the cruise because they have like that specific cruise hang tag but then there are other tourists that you know you can tell that they're like of african descent or from an african country but guys, let's go. I just love that there's a lot of black people here. It made me feel a little bit more comfortable, you know, seeing my own people. And I think everybody can agree. Like, if you see more Asian people and you're Asian, like, yeah, they say, okay, Ray, like, my people, them there. If you see Hispanic people, my people, them there, like, you know, it's nice. 
It's a solidarity thing. But look how beautiful. 28 minutes to do. I'm gonna walk through the botanical gardens just to add at least another thousand or two thousand steps to my tracking. I also uploaded the very beginning of my trip from the moment I saw Greece. Go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. garden is closing, they're blowing their whistles and letting people know. But look at the dog! I've never seen one like this before. It looks like a chicken. What kind of mixed breed is oh. Alright, let's go back on the... Oh, okay, alright. Don't look at yourself now. Calm down. Cool. Alrighty, I definitely think we're on the quiet side of town. I mean, other than the clip you just saw a while ago, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way. But these side streets are so quiet. I am a whopping six minutes away from the hotel. I'm kind of hungry again, to be honest. So I may get something at the restaurant, may get a nice little cocktail or mocktail. That's to be determined. But I'm almost, almost back home. All this beautiful flower shop from earlier. Okay. Whew. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, let me know what country I should visit next, and I really hope that you're liking these videos. Bye.